Hi guys! Welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. I'm Sarah. And if you're looking for home style recipes made ketogenic, then you've come to the right channel. Tonight we are going to be making Keto Goober Clusters, which is chocolate peanut clusters. So come along with me and let's get started. Halloween and there's candy everywhere and I mean everywhere candy dishes grocery stores it's all around us so if you want something that you can eat instead that's very simple I've got the recipe for you and of course the holidays are coming up there will be gift giving um, exchanging of foods and this would make a really wonderful gift for friends family teachers anyone so let me show you what you're going to need okay so you're only going to need a couple of ingredients for this recipe. You're going to need nine ounces of chocolate chips. I'm using Lily's brand. Um, some of our watchers and subscribers have noted that the Choc Zero brand chips don't necessarily work for recipes where the chocolate is going to harden. So I do recommend the Lily's for this recipe. And I have half semi-sweet and half milk. Once again, that is nine ounces. I also have six ounces of roasted peanuts. I'm going to be using a little bit of flaky sea salt or fleur de sel on the top of mine because I like salty and sweet, but this is a completely optional step. You are going to need somewhere to place your clusters as they harden, and you definitely need either silicone or parchment or you will not be able to remove them. You don't have to have a baking sheet, you could use a plate or something else, but you are going to need parchment paper or silicone. You are also going to need a microwave safe bowl. I'm going to be doing this in the microwave and that is how I'm going to be melting my chips. If you, you wanted to use a double boiler or a bain-marie, then you could do that on your stove top if you don't choose to use your microwave or if you prefer doing it that way. You will just need to place something over boiling water that you would be able to stir and melt your chocolate. I'm also going to be using some silicone utensils. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first step for this recipe is I'm going to place my chocolate chips in my microwave safe bowl and I'm going to microwave them. I'm going to start at one minute and then I'm going to go in increments after that until they are almost fully melted. Now please note that every microwave is different. Mine happens to be a thousand watt microwave so it might be a shorter time than yours. If you have a microwave that is stronger than that, it might be less. So please note your own wattage. And it's way better to go short first in bursts than to overcook your chocolate. Chocolate, both regular and sugar-free, is very temperamental. starting to melt as you can see but we are not fully melted so I'm going to do 15 seconds and see how it looks after that some good melting going on but it is still not quite where I want it so I am going to go 15 more seconds I'm going to bring this over to the counter and we will keep going. Okay, so we have our melted chocolate and now we are going to place our peanuts into it. I'm gonna dump them straight in. And we are just going to start coating them with our chocolate. It smells 
really good. Who doesn't love chocolate and peanuts? If you don't though, that is totally fine. You can use any kind of nut that you would like for this particular cluster. I was uh, preparing my blog post and I looked back on when I did macadamia nuts about four years ago. I also used Lily's chips then and it was funny because they didn't even have milk chocolate Lily's chips now. And now they have every flavor of the rainbow in chips and they are so much more readily available. I also did this in white chocolate and I will show you that in a few minutes in case you like white chocolate like I do. Okay, I am going to set this aside, bring over my baking trays and I'm going to start putting our clusters onto the tray. <clears throat> so, what, what are you going to say? Are you just going to start doing it or are you going to start saying something? I can talk about it. Talk about it. Sure. Some kind of mystic wisdom? Or no, there's no mystic wisdom. Okay. It's chocolate and it's peanuts and it's yummy and you don't have to be wise to eat it. I'm going to start putting the clusters onto my tray. You can make them any size that you would like. I'm just going to be using my spoon as a guide, so they will be slightly irregular like all homemade candy should be. So I'm just going to start placing them on the tray. And they call them a cluster because that is what they are. Now these are going to go into the refrigerator for a little while after I have made them, and that will harden them up enough to remove them from the parchment and then you can store them. I would recommend storing them in the refrigerator though. So how many of these that you get will be dependent on how large your spoon is and how large you make your clusters. But you do want to give them enough room. Now, if you liked uh, coconut or something like that, it would be a wonderful addition to this if you wanted to put some on top. Okay, so I've got one tray there. So before these little beauties go into the refrigerator to harden up, I am going to be placing a little bit of flaky sea salt on the top of them. You can find this in the grocery store, but I always buy mine on Amazon because it is better price. This one happens to be from Iceland, but they also make them coming from France. And it is just coarse salt, and it is going to give us that yummy, salty, sweet taste. And it also looks pretty too. Now I know that Lily's makes a salted caramel chocolate chip and that would be delicious here as well. So it doesn't take very long in the refrigerator to harden these up and I am sure that you are going to love these as well, anyone that you gift them to. and we'll see you in a few minutes. All right, here are the keto goober clusters, the chocolate peanut butter clusters, and I've got both white and regular chocolate, and CJ is going to taste one for us. Hi. Hi. All right, let's see how it tastes. Okay. Mmm, good flavor. Salt's a nice touch. So these have been here for a couple of days. They don't taste as sweet. Mm. Not saying they aren't sweet. But they were, they felt like they were sweeter 
right when you first made them. So for me, this is perfect, this sweetness. Good. So it's a nice balance between the chocolate and the um, peanuts. And it also doesn't seem like it's melting as fast. So maybe the chocolate's firmed up or something. I had, to, I had time to sit in the refrigerator. So <laughs> I like it, baby. Good. Easy for people to make. Definitely. And um, nice treat, too. Thanks. Bye. Bye.